Hi guys, welcome to Bites as Excel. In this video, we are going to take a first look at Excel tables. Now, Excel tables are a really useful feature in Excel, which can help you manage really large data sets. In this example, we have a stock sheet and we want to convert it to a table. So we can click anywhere in our table and if all our cells are continuous, we can hold down Control and A to select our entire table. We then go to the Insert tab and click on Table. You'll come up with this Create Table box, which will select your range. You can also click out and select it manually if you wish. And in this instance, our table already has headers. So we make sure the My Table Has Headers box is checked and click on OK. And it will convert your table into an Excel table. Now we'll automatically format it into one of its standard styles. You can have a play around with the preset styles by clicking on the little drop down arrow here and selecting a number of different table types. Other useful options here are in this table style options. So we can either, we have a header row, we can get rid of that if we don't want it for any particular reason. We can also add in a total row at the bottom. In this instance, it's automatically selected banded rows, but we can uncheck that if we don't want our rows to be banded or we can select banded columns. Now I tend to find banded rows are more useful because it allows us to read across. So I'm gonna keep banded rows checked on here. We can also highlight the first column or the last column. And this is automatically come in with filters in the top row, but we can uncheck that if we don't want those. If we select or unselect any of these options, the options in this little drop down list will appear slightly differently. So you can see that our front row here comes out slightly differently when I have the first column highlighted option selected. Now in terms of our total row, we can select individual cells. And for example, unit price, say I wanted to know what the average unit price was, I could click on average here and it will automatically put in your formula without you needing to actually type in the formula manually. Equally, if we wanted the sum, we can just come here and select some. Or if we want to know the number of items in our list, we could do count. Now, if you wanted to sum up a number of different columns, we can select all those columns and come down to this little quick analysis tool down the bottom. And if we select the totals, we can then click on sum and it will automatically put those in. Now, when you click into your table, your table will automatically have a name. You can rename it if you wish. So here in the top, we have our table name. We can also resize it. And if you want to navigate quickly to any table in your workbook, you can click this little drop down and you can click on the table you wish to go to. So if I were to add more tables in and click on this little drop down, you would have your list of tables here. And this is where it becomes very useful naming your table because then you can quickly clicking back and forth between different tables by their name. Now there's a whole bunch of useful features in tables from automatically filling formulas for you. It can be a little bit tricky learning how functions and formulas are named in tables, but we'll look at covering that in our next video. This table design tab comes up whenever you are clicked into a table, but if you look when I click outside the table, it'll disappear. And if I click back in, the design tab is back. Now, if you decide you don't want your table anymore for any particular reason, you can convert it back into a range. So if we right click anywhere inside the table, come down to table and click convert to range, your table will go back to a normal range, but we'll keep the formatting of the table itself. So now if you look, it doesn't matter where I click, our table tab, tab no longer appears because it is now formatted as a range. In my next video, we're going to take a further look at tables in Excel, particularly how we use formulas. If there's anything in particular you would like to know about tables, please do let me know in a comment. I hope that you found this video useful and I do look forward to seeing you in a future video.